Good morning, folks. We're zooming in towards the center of the galaxy, slightly skewed off to NGC 3293, 8,000 light years from Earth, where about 50 stars are thought to have been born out of a single cosmic event. The stellar age of each is thought to be less than 10 million years old, making them babies in universal terms. As we pan across, note the one orangish reddish star among the brilliant blue ones. That was likely the king of the cluster, big and powerful, but has already used a good deal of energy and is now a red giant, much cooled. Other space news, Neo Wise finds yet another asteroid turned comet. We've seen these outbursts a number of times before. Hubble, examining three new exoplanets, hot Jupiters, and oddly they're finding low spectral emissions of H2O. These are some of the driest exoplanets we've ever found. Folks, one of the recent updates to SuspiciousObservers.org was on the Electric Earth and Sun series. Part of that discussed Rosetta, some concerns, and a good deal of other things. And now we have another Rosetta update. The rendezvous with 67P is just 11 days away, and we'll be watching for sure. East Pacific has all the tropical development right now, but they can't get along and are energy thieves from one another. The more important thing to note is the sheer and northward flow of moisture and heat and energy and that is funneled up across Mexico and into the central United States to a dominating low right in the Midwest that will take the severe weather with it wherever it goes. Not to sleep on this one. Check your local forecast. Also be sure to note the flash flood potential from the southern flows into the Gulf states and a bit up the east coast. Australia dealing with two things. The low to the southeast still stuck at Tasmania, affecting the land to the north of it as well, and also a convergence off the west coast that may crest on to the southwest imminently. In terms of New Zealand, they just need to remember their jackets as the flow is completely out of the south. None of the misery indices here are in the extreme range, but you can see just how wide a variability these locations experience even at one time. In Europe, we have three lows, only two of them are relevant. The North Atlantic low is still offshore, but the others are tossing storm like it's the thing to do over here. How does one forecast random storms across a 700 mile stretch? You really don't. University of Delaware, your incredulity aside, after a while you've got to realize that your machines are not miscalibrated, your data is not wrong. Stop taking down massive cosmic ray fluctuations simply because you don't believe them. Have you checked our star lately? The heliospheric indices? Forgive me folks, this is a bit frustrating. One of the best ways we could track the heliospheric strength and cosmic penetration has now been censored for the hundredth time. Solar wind telemetry. Speed drops off in yellow, while above in orange we see some density spikes to the wind. Now this isn't enough to cause a geomagnetic storm, but we did come close to what could be considered minor instability, and indeed the sensitive electron flux got dinged by these proton shock waves. Solar flaring is still minuscule. Our one low C flare came out of the larger of the sunspot groups, north of the equator, and did so as the negative lead appeared in that grouping, that we identified as curiously having a positive lead yesterday. Right now that's reserved for the southern hemisphere, but alas, now all is magnetically simple. Flaring should remain low. Coronal holes here, boy, do they look menacing. But, as you might have guessed from our lack of quaking, the power of those openings has now slipped into the lowest possible range for a coronal hole. Earth is likely unaffected. Remember folks, it's the last week of July. Website memberships have been described as wildly cheap but it's our website's birthday week, so made them even cheaper. We appreciate everyone and will keep the content rolling. Helio viewer, three days down and counting. We'll make the best of it. Eyes open, no fear. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.